जी आई एम इन बैंगलोर यस आई एम हियर आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड आई एम हियर टू अटेंड फ्यूचर फेंटास्टिक विद ब्रिटिश काउंसिल वॉट इज दिस इवेंट ऑल अबाउट इट्स अबाउट क्लाइमेट चेंज इन सस्टेनेबिलिटी वेयर सेवरल आर्टिस्ट हैव कम टूगेदर टू क्रिएट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट आर्ट इंस्टॉलेशन मेजरली विद ए आई एंड दे आर कम्युनिकेटिंग अ मैसेज ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ नेचर लेस चेक इट आउट started 24 today is 25th and then tomorrow 26 i'll be i'm here today throughout the day i'm going to be here tomorrow as well now this building is of ground floor first floor and second floor so on all of these floors there are different different artists featuring their own art in their own way and it's experiential experiential art like where you can go and aap uske sath interact kar sakte ho so i'm going to go explore all of these places and also this place is called BIC it's Bangalore International Center uh, if in case you are already here you're watching it today you can come and if you missed out the date then i'm sorry by the way it's 24 25 26 march and i think by the time you see the vlog you won't be able to come so i'm sorry for it but let's go with me digitally to check it out that were obviously mind blowing but i know second floor and first floor has even more impactful arts and i need lot more energy for that and i'm pretty tired because i did not have breakfast so i'm going to go first to bic cafe and have some food and then go to the second floor and first floor let's do it so the food was nice i'm feeling energetic and i'm heading towards the first floor and second floor and also once i'm done with the second floor there's vegan market on the second floor so i can eat again let's go interesting art installation over here is wood wide web i'm getting confused with it because it's so new i'm habitual of saying world wide web but why is this confusion let's ask the artist himself why is this confusion hi so the art installation name is wood wide web and it itself represents the uh, the network through which the trees communicate to each other in nature and what we have done is like we have personified a virtual replica of that network in our installation and the special thing about our installation is that user gets to be a part of the installation itself user gets to be a part of the artwork itself so how did this idea came so the installation itself is made by four artists and the common factor between all of us was eco anxiety and a very sensitivity towards nature so the idea how to feel more empathetic towards nature that was the core idea around it uh when trees come to life and they tell you their stories that's where you make a more connection with them so when these trees come to life they mimic your movement they tell their stories that's where you get a, a general idea of what's happening on ground so that's the core uh, feeling around it that's amazing thank you so much for this amazing art installation and putting a word out on behalf of the nature thank you so much thank you so apart from the art installations over here which i should be saying ai art installations over here there's another session happening it's a panel discussion where elison who's the country director for british council speaking over there in the panel discussion i'm going to go listen to her what she has to say about climate change and then i'll be talking to her personally as well about what do they think about climate change and why ai and climate change together and why are they supporting it let's do it So 
as I said that I am here on this event for this event, Future Fantastic and British Council called me. And here I'm sitting right next to Alison, who's the country head for British Council. And I really want to ask her because I got to know there are like several artists who are here who were chosen by British Council and who are like kind of given 100% support so that they can create the art. But why an organization like British Council is interested to work on such a cause and also in an innovative way, uh, which is AI art. So let's ask her. Hi. Hi. So uh, what I want to understand is you could have done anything when it comes to climate change. So why AI? That's a really good question. Um, the British Council is committed to bringing new and emerging artists together to tackle global shared challenges. And what better way to do it through AI, which is a new technology. Bangalore is one of the cities in India that is known for its tech and its yeah. innovation. And we really wanted the opportunity to see how this new technology can help move that conversation forward to help us generate new ideas, new art, new conversations that can really tackle the crisis and bring about change. Another thing I want to understand on the same note, mostly the people who are leading such organizations are mm -hmm. senior people who have been like on the face of earth for a long time. Mm -hmm. They understand or they see things in a very different way. So whose idea was it? Let's try innovative because mostly people want to cut on carbon emission right then and there mm -hmm. by electric vehicles, by carbon sink. So what was like thought behind it to not do the traditional thing, but try just taking it to more people? Well, um, the British Council is an organisation that uh, doesn't do things traditionally. We always work by bringing people together to support international collaboration and international cooperation. Um, and the climate crisis is not just a crisis of science or a crisis of knowledge, but it's a crisis of culture. And as the UK's leading organisation for cultural relations and for education, we have a really clear part to play and we really want to make sure that our stakeholders can come together and, and make a contribution. Um, we think that uh, culture, both in terms of art um, and the way that we consume art, can help stimulate change, can transform uh, people's lives and ways of thinking. It can animate science in a way that makes it more accessible and more uh, palatable and understandable. But also culture, more broadly, is about our behaviours, our knowledge, our perspectives, our understanding. So we want to try and use culture as a tool to bring it, to bring about change. Perfect. Then, how do you feel personally about climate change? How does your life, uh, you live your life in a certain way yeah. that it supports the cause of climate change? It's a really important part of my life and the way that um, I work with my family or bring up my family. So I've been vegetarian for about 25 years. Um, I think that's a really important contribution that I can make. Um, I brought my children up vegetarian. Um, my husband is vegan. He's trying to persuade me to be vegan. I'm trying, I'm trying my best. Um, I don't have a car. I use an electric rickshaw. Um, so everything that I do, I try and make sustainable choices. But I guess that's because um, I care about what happens to my children. I care about what happens to the communities where I live. I've been uh, lucky enough to have uh, international experiences in my life and research that the British Council has done has shown that um, the more of an international experience that you have, the more likely you are to be able to kind of give up and sacrifice things and to kind of make a decision that, that benefits all. So it's, it, it's kind of in my DNA. I, I can always do more, but it's a really important part of my personal life and my professional life. That's amazing because I really appreciate uh, even like seeing that you said like you don't have a car. Mm. That's really a big thing to let go of because in today's time, people want comfort, but the comfort does come with emissions. So I really appreciate uh, you talking to me and sharing everything. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Same here. So this was first floor, but I'm super excited to go on the second floor. More than art, I think I am excited about the vegan market because I'm hungry again and it's a vegan market. Let's do it. Stand and see. Okay. 
it turns into waterfall yeah uh the message behind it is so come away from the waterfall okay what happens to it now trash comes back ha ah, so the idea is that if you pay a little attention to what's going on uh -huh. you have a chance of changing surviving something okay and when you're not paying any attention and nobody's looking okay it's this is what is going keep happening over and over waste and over again waste keeps flowing waste keeps flowing anything that there is ignored okay is going to continue becoming a catastrophic event makes sense yeah that's the, that's the idea okay so with the vibe itself the event does look fantastic and i already told you the name of the event is future fantastic and here right with me is the director and founder of the company which organized this fantastic event it's called be fantastic and i'm going to ask a one very simple question what was the idea to organize this amazing event and also how did he come up with this name of being fantastic so we have our origins in a festival we did in 2017 at the rangoli metro art center in bangalore and the idea of that festival is how can art and technology come together to tell us climate optimistic positive future telling stories and the title of that festival was called bengaluru fantastic so with the success of bengaluru fantastic we decided to craft this organization called be fantastic um which can travel beyond bengaluru perfect so how climate change like what happened you live in bangalore it's like a tech city everyone is running around consumerism money startups more money multi million unicorn why climate change i think there's a lot of money in climate change or oh, is it <laughs> that's true that but that's not the driver yeah. for us uh we work a lot with cultural embassies like the british council the gert institute the swiss arts council for helvetia uh we work with the us embassy so we figured that one interesting way for us to do this is bring people across the seas to work with each other collaboratively and climate change is something that's something that we as a global humanity need to come together to address and so that's kind of why we looked at climate change as that binding conversation within our uh, collaborative space makes sense and the last thing which i would like to take your time for is how do you see that ai is able to communicate the problem to people like because usually i would see i make art installations but i would try to find let's say rough idea is that i would collect plastic make some art installation out of it and mostly i've seen people doing these sort of things or waste textile and mm. make something out of it how ai and like after organizing this you know the artist very well you know the art really well how do you think it's something new and something or let's say which one is your favorite here i think a few different ways for one a lot of the interactive artworks are triggered by ai so there is a piece called give me a sign which explains this really well um where you yeah some sort of a, you have mudras yeah. and the through machine learning it is taught to recognize yeah. these various mudras and once it recognizes there's a triggering of an audio visual yeah. poetry landscape that comes to you so I think it's really engaging so you can see little children that yeah. are trying to do this but they are trying to play with the 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 artwork but the images and the messages that are coming back to them are very climate change oriented so the mm -hmm. idea that AI can go wrong it's not full intelligence it's kind of choppy intelligence we're not there yet mm -hmm. all these things become apparent through these artworks amazing thank you so much for talking to me and telling me about the amazing event Thank you for and being I here. And I wish you good luck for the next edition of the same event and I hope I'll be there as well again. I hope so too. Thank you so much. Thank you. So after this day full of AI arts on climate change, now is the time to do the easy peasy thing which is to eat vegan food and browse products from vegan markets. Let's check it out.
this is the end for the day for me i'm super tired in my feet they're like paining i can't tell you how much but then the day was fruitful it was amazing i enjoyed it it's evening 8 the event is coming to an end people sort of like wrapping up going back but i had a lot of fun i saw climate change being communicated in a very different perspective in a very different language which i have never seen before so i'm happy that i got to come here and attend this amazing mind blowing out of the box event and be a part of this madness yeah and happy to be in bangalore for such a thing bangalore has always been known for its tech its uh, modern perspective towards the world and i'm happy that how it is also representing its modern perspective towards the problem of the future or rather than sorry sorry it's not a problem of future it's a problem of the present so i'm happy that how they are coming together for this as well that's all from bangalore from this amazing event from this amazing event future fantastic thank you so much british council for calling me over here and giving me this amazing opportunity to be a part of this that's all for now and let me say this as well if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do it and when you are subscribing why not only like comment share the video as well thank you so much julie ji namaste ji bye bye Thank <laughs> you.